Hi, buddy. That's Sebastian. Oh, big yawn. All right, here's the update on the new, uh, on the aquarium, by the way, here's my new, uh, I mean, they're not new. I don't know why I keep saying the word new. I'm hella manic today. <laughs> These are my Star Wars Disney Infinity figures in China's horns. Um, but at one point, I think I still have them all. I think these are all of the... There's a couple that don't have lightsabers, because these are just the ones with lightsabers that I wanted to keep nice. Um, but I have all of the Disney Inf Infinity Star Wars figures, and they are pretty awesome. All right, so update on the ecosphere. You remember that it turned black, right? Which is gnarly. Um, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. There are now bubbles rising, which is usually a sign that either the soil is releasing gas or there's living things under there. So we'll see what kind of stuff, you know, pops up out of there. Some of these bubbles are actually already, like, floating up. Um, I'm not sure if this is just... I think that's just from the sticky stuff on the other side, by the way. Um, and the moss up there is going crazy. I don't really see anything living in there right now. Um, interesting thing. You guys may have seen the last video and been wondering, like, why did it start turning black? That was so weird. Um, I definitely just saw an article about how our local seafood processing plant was charged $75,000, I believe, which is not very much for them. Um, and it was charged because it dumps its waste in our bay. And so I think that they're, I think mostly it's pollution, to be honest, that is causing the water to go black. And uh, it's probably not just pollution. There's probably a, a couple other natural factors, obviously. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting. So like I said, I'm actually going to end up probably leaving this ecosphere alone for a while. As you can see, that freaking... Uh, that leaf of seaweed that I had in there that was sticking out has officially just mulched into the soil, which is what I'm assuming was happening while it was going black like that. You can kind of see all this stuff left over from, from things dying. So, I don't know, it's pretty interesting though. It's definitely worth taking note because there's uh, currently a couple companies that are paying money instead of discontinuing their, uh, ooh, what is that? There's something floating. Okay. They're paying, they would rather pay money than actually stop the, uh, the ecological damage that they're doing. And I think that, um, I might actually have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a, uh, you know, uh, a piece of that, an example of that exact same thing happening here. Because this is clearly not exactly the way you want your bay water to look. I am stoked that it cleared up. Um... But yeah, this this is what our bay looks like. And our bay has been pretty nasty for a long time. Which is kind of interesting because the tribes that settled our bay survived off of that bay. They lived off of like the clams and the fish that they pulled out of it. And to this day, we don't actually use the bay. There's not a lot of fishing in Humboldt Bay. Uh, fishermen use Humboldt Bay as a port. And then they go out into the ocean to do their fishing. So... Essentially, Humboldt Bay has become um, a shitter for fishermen, and that's why it looks fucking disgusting, and no one wants to eat the fish out of our bay because it's polluted as shit. And instead of changing it, they would rather just pay money in eco fines, which is just apparently capitalism's answer. I'm not sure how that's going to help us uh, survive when the oceans are, you know, dead or dying, but uh, money, I guess. Sure, yeah, money will, money will help. Um, yeah, that's the ecosphere. I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. Sorry, it's kind of a bummer, but it's, that's, that's kind of what I, uh, came up with, so. Here, I'll show you this boy. Oh, we got a snorer. Hold on, we got a snorer.